To understand how the foreign exchange works, it's critical to understand the role of interest rates play in the marketplace in terms of the value of one currency relative to another, say the dollar relative to the euro. I'll use the euro as an example. Okay. Interest rates, or the price of money, that you can earn on your surplus savings, your surplus savings that you have, that businesses have, that governments might have, that they want to put somewhere where it's going to earn the highest interest rate or the highest rate of return, basically where it's going to sit, settle, and grow the largest. Now, sometimes that might be in the United States, or it might be in Europe, or it might be in China, or in Japan, or somewhere else. But we want to look at what happens when interest rates from one country relative to another change. How does that affect the flow of financial capital? Financial capital, again, the surplus savings that individuals, businesses, and, and, uh, and governments have, but they want to put some place where it's going to grow the largest. Now, the interest rate is the price of money. And when I save, invest, I want to get the highest interest rate possible. I want to get the highest interest rate possible because when I put my money there, it's going to grow the largest. And if that happens to not be in the United States, then I might move it somewhere else. Obviously, that's going to necessitate an exchange of currencies, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. But the, but the important thing to remember is money has no conscience. It doesn't care about national borders. It doesn't care about nationalism. It's not patriotic. It just wants to go where it'll settle, regardless of the currency, and grow the largest. So let's look at real quickly how changes in interest rates will affect those financial uh, capital flows. The, let's look at the first thing. And this is from the U.S. perspective, from our perspective domestically. Let's assume that the interest rate in the U.S. overall decreases. Savings accounts, re rate of return uh, on stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, decreases relative to Europe. Okay? Money is going to want to seek the highest interest rate or the higher rate of return. So what we are going to do collectively is take our money, our dollars, because the rate of return is higher over there. We're going to take those dollars, and we're going to take them to the foreign exchange market and drop them off. Now, we're not going to do that for free. We're going to obviously going to want the uh, euro in return. But the big point here is that this is going to move lots of financial capital. Lots of dollars are going to flow offshore, out of the United States, and into the foreign exchange market. So the supply of dollars is going to increase on the foreign exchange market. And we'll talk a little bit uh, next video how that's going to affect the value of the dollar. But the key point here is this phrase right here, financial assets. Foreign financial assets in this case. The interest rate, rate of return is higher in Europe. Foreign financial assets become more desirable. There will be financial capital outflows. Dollars will leave the United States, go to the foreign exchange market, be exchanged for euros. Okay? Important thing, relative change in interest rate. U.S. interest rate decreases relative to uh, interest rate earned in Europe. Foreign financial assets become more desirable. But there'll be a we'll experience a financial capital outflow. Quickly, on the other side, let's assume that the interest rate now in the U.S. increases, and it increases relative to the interest rates in Europe. Well, the Europeans are going to behave in the same way. They're going to take their individuals, businesses, and governments are going to take their surplus savings, and they're going to put it where... It'll settle and grow the largest, so it's going to look for the highest rate of return, highest interest rate. So whether that, again, whether that's euros, the yen, uh, pesos, they're going to seek a higher rate of return. In this case, interest rates in the U.S. are higher, so U.S. financial assets become more desirable. The supply of their currencies, the euros, the yen, the, the pesos, is going to increase. It's going to leave their shores. And the demand for the dollar is going to increase. So we're going to experience a financial capital inflow, uh, an increase in the demand for the dollar when U.S. interest rates increase, causing U.S. financial assets to become more desirable. When U.S. interest rates decrease relative to Europe, Japan, Mexico, wherever, okay, there's going to be an increase in demand for foreign financial assets. They become more desirable. Foreign financial assets become more desirable. There'll be a financial capital outflow of dollars from the U.S. to the foreign exchange market. Everybody got that? I hope so. This is important stuff, especially these descriptions. Interest rate changes, the desirability of the financial assets of the particular country. Next lesson, we're going to put all this stuff, but we're going to use this interest rate effect and show on basic supply and demand graphs how this is going to affect the value of the dollar in the foreign exchange market.